Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Frank Torian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Medieval Dynasty on the PlayStation 5. So we're on the final day of spring here. Uh, with that moose that we killed at the end of the last episode, Jinx cooked that meat up for us. I think you guys might have seen her doing some of that as I was doing the outro. And we also looked at the moose skull, so we can put it up if we had the technology to do so. Yeah, which we do have some... Technology points? Yeah, that's what we got to unlock the well. So how do you get these points? Just by doing stuff? Yeah, so this one, the more you build, um, that contributes to that. Um, survival is like gathering, fishing, hunting, uh -huh. uh, farming, and then production is just like craft and stuff. Okay. And that's how you unlock like all the buildings and then you can um, like the, the new animals and stuff yeah. right and then the recipes yeah i think in the the pc series we were waiting for we had to do a video just so jinx could show off some of the stuff she had unlocked with technology that took her a while to get to like the cows yeah. the horse all that kind of stuff so you're kind of limited in there the game here on what all you can do so that kind of helps from keeping you getting too overwhelmed yeah, and I guess it kind of, you know, keeps you interested in the game. Because like, you don't have access to everything. Yeah, you always have something that you're working towards. Yeah, something that you're excited to, to get. And all the things you want the most are at the very end, of course. Of course. Keep you playing. All right, so now we got to go talk to Unigosh. And so we're going to check our rabbit traps along the way. Yes. See if we count ourselves a rabbit if we can remember where we put them. Go wabbit hunting. I did put it a little further than I wanted to, but... Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's not a bad Could spot. have been closer to the village. Hey, you got one. Why am I dirty again? Because I'm sprinting everywhere. You're probably getting sweaty, Jinx. You know you sweat horribly. I do. Mm-hmm. I'm a sweaty gal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll be in the gym working out, and Jinx always sweats... More than I do, despite the fact that I would say I probably do more intense workouts. Because I do the really heavy weights. I really push myself on the weights. Well, Jinx will do a little bit lighter than she could and do a little bit more reps than I'll, I'll typically do. I'm trying to get that definition. It's not working out. <laughs> it's not really the way it actually works. Uh, that's kind of like a myth that... Uh, like the higher reps gets the cut. Yeah, that, that gets the cut and that uh, in doing the... The more weight and the less, the lower amount of reps will bulk you. But that's not really the way it works. I just bulk no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> well, cut really comes down to to uh, the, the, body, the body fat, fat percentage, mm -hmm. and also your genetics. Like what you're going to look like is very, uh, very much based so off. So of I will never have definition. <laughs> <laughs> not muscle definition. I don't know. Just Jinx be has wreck some. It Ralph. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to anything. Jinx is like exaggerating. I am. None of this is true. It's really not. She's not even like a big woman or anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think that I am though. I feel big. Because you're strong. I'm strong. And too too big to like sleep and <laughs> More, that's you don't wash even, my bag <laughs> that's true <laughs> again she's just making stuff that's what i have to deal with i i can't sleep anymore because i'm so big i crush myself uh because I, I gotta fall asleep on my side you crush me too <laughs> yeah you're sleeping on your side and then i'm sleeping too close to you you like roll over, roll over. Roll over. <laughs> so yeah i'd be like crushing myself and then, yeah, I can't wash my bag, obviously. Jinx has to do that for me. There's, like, almost no range of movement around that way. He's like a bear. He's got itches back on things. Yeah, all the muscles are in the way. I'm very limited in movement. The Jinx is overtaking my life story. All right, so we're going to talk to this guy again, get the rest of his story, and... Uh, Turn in our quest. Yeah, again, I'm, I'm never going to read all these. Because uh, I kind of get the gist here. And You're Jinx said that the story... <laughs> Jinx said the story isn't that great. It's not. Like, it's okay. I mean, just having a story in this type of game... I is, don't care. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people aren't going to be interested in it, I suppose. But some people like it. Yeah. It just kind of adds more reason to be doing the things you're doing. Emerge you in the, the world a little bit more. So it's great to have a story. Even if it's not, like, a great story. I mean, it takes you on a wild ride. 
And didn't you say that. there's a little bit of twist and stuff? Yeah. There's a little bit of that. I miss my pony. Because, yeah, you gotta walk back and forth between town and... And I'm so stinky. And our little village. All the time. You're not even stinky right now. I'm gonna be. Are you gonna go pre-wash before you even get stinky? No, I'm running across the river. <laughs> Are you chasing after ducks again, Jinx? Maybe. <laughs> they can't see me. Dun -dun. <laughs> what I think is funny is that you decided to run this way instead of across the bridge that was literally just it's like a few far. a few steps away. The bridge was too far <laughs> and not close to the ducks. And I needed to wash my butt anyway because I ran a little bit. <laughs> Can't be a little bit sweaty. Doesn't that type of stuff uh, affect like people's perception of you? I think so. I'm not sure. Like, like their opinion? Yeah. Like, the ladies won't find me attractive, which I do need to start need hunting for a wife. Mm-hmm. Just hopped in the game. We already need a wife. I need a lady. Someone to do some chores. There's dangerous animals. <laughs> so is that what we're doing right now? Is looking for, looking for a wife? No. We're going to talk to Sambor. Oh, okay. I thought that's what we were legitimately doing. I thought you came to this town to just... Look at the this ladies. Where I found a wife here before. Oh, really? Is this where you found your wife in the other one? I think that's my wife. No. <laughs> <laughs> Rosalinda. I feel like it was Rose or something like it that. It was something. I remember in that series though, Jinx didn't even know her wife's name. I didn't. I didn't know who she was. <laughs> oh, finding a wife is the first step <laughs> to security <laughs> dynasty survival. Oh, she is after me. Yeah, I know. She's over here just like touching God's her shoulder. Mira. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Well, yeah, Jinx was running around her village in that, that uh, the video, and she was like pointing out all these women, thinking those were her wife. I think this is my hey, wife. wifey. It's a good thing I don't just greet her by grabbing her ass. And I thought that what was was what you're doing. Sexually Maybe assaulting all the members of your village. They're used to it. Like, oh, that silly old Rasmir doesn't even know who his wife is. And the cat just burnt. You know, well, maybe. I don't know how it works. Can you just punch him in the face? Oh, it's a crow. Punch him. <laughs> wow, it worked. I did. You, like, punched him in the I wing? punched him to death. Wow. Wow. Well, he's still kind of moving over there. I don't think he's dead quite yet. He's fine. He's dead now. <laughs> so he's fine, but he's Tearing dead now? Tearing him apart. He got 16 feathers off Wow. Him. I mean, that's oh, a more realistic out here. number of feathers. Typically, you, like, kill a bird in a game, they give you, like, one feather. It's like, that's, I can only get one off of it? Mm -hmm. That's it? Yeah, you got 16 feathers. I need spears out here. Barbie wolves. And bandits. Yeah. Trying to get your booty. They will. Mm-hmm. Take everything you own. Including Maybe your I pride. I want to join the bandits. Oh, I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I want to give them my booty. <laughs> okay, whatever I mean, you want to do. Seat's not taken. <laughs> Is that why you assault all the ladies of your village, Jinx? Yeah. And so everybody will think that you're a straight man? Mm-hmm. Just trying to hide your secrets? Yep. So just being overly straight? I just want anyone to love me. Just anybody? That's all. <laughs> She'll be posing around her village and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. How you doing? Mm-hmm. Bending over, strategically picking up branches. I can pick up so many branches. Mm -hmm. Hundreds of them. Oh, there's a rabbit. I'm not here for rabbits. I'm out here looking for a man. <laughs> oh, we're looking for a man now. Well, at least you're being open about what. We are literally looking for a man. <laughs> <laughs> His name That's is our Samber. Mission. Oh, how far is it? Did you look on the map yet? I don't think we looked on the map. Yeah. Seems like a journey. He lives out here in the middle of the woods. Oh, they don't mark your your objective on the actual map? I guess not. Oh, that would have been handy. There's also wild boars out here, which are my number two enemy. I mean, I guess it shows you how many meters he is away, at least. What about the bears? You're not concerned about bears? No, not typically. Animal spotted wolf. What? Where? It says discovered animal spot. Where? Oh, animal oh, spot. Jesus Christ, you scared the poo out of me. <laughs> <laughs> now you gotta wash your butt again. Where the fuck the wolves be? Sorry, I thought it said animal spotted. It says animal spot. Got it. 
They do like to hang out on the road. It's like an ambush. Yeah. Weary travelers. Typically, they'll stop and growl at you first, so maybe you hear them before they come after you. But. Mm-hmm. So is this where Sanger lives? Yeah. He's got a nice place. And he's got all the clay back here. Oh. You can't jump over his bin. Oh. You're not hitting the jump button? No, I'm not. Jinxes. It's okay, guys. <laughs> so yeah, here's all the clay. Yeah, he makes these little critters. Strange deer figurines. I steal all oh, you of just his little them? deer figures. Do you, can you give them as gifts to people? Act like you're the one that carved them. I feel like you're supposed to, but I haven't found anyone to give them to yet. Because you can give gifts, right? I guess, yeah. yeah. I remember you giving your wife something. Oh, she up. only likes the expensive shit. She doesn't want this wooden stuff. Yeah, she got to give her gifts to make up for forgetting her name all the time. I have to save up for years to buy that woman presents. We're calling her James. <laughs> While they're in the bedroom. Oh, James. Oh, Jamesy boy. <laughs> oh, he's missing an eye. Sandboard doesn't want. Clearly doesn't want to talk to you. He's missing two eyes? <laughs> just one. Just one. <laughs> all right, so I guess we can read this one. I'm not talking about her. Maybe not. Oh, sorry. And how do you know that? I was talking with Unagas, who told me that you're a part of the reminders as well. Part of what now? Um, the pack, the one Unagos and Jordan. I've never heard that idiotic name in my life. Oh, sorry. Maybe I've made a mistake. We were called the Undying Fist. Oh my, that's so much worse. <laughs> Whatever. What do you know? What are you? Like 12? Normally I would argue with you about that, but I'm afraid you'll kick the bucket during this dispute, old man. That was a long, uh... <laughs> Pause in between kick and bucket. I'm switching eyes. <laughs> <laughs> we do have to have the mic kind of blocking this part of the screen sometimes, guys. Uh, oh, is there something I would kick for sure? So smart choice, snot. Anyway, I would love to hear some stories about my uncle and the Pax adventures all together. Are you can click? No. We're <laughs> <laughs> just gonna stare at him. I mean, I like staring at his shiny bald head, but. He's pretty cool looking. Yeah. Um, I don't know that we're going to go through all the story, Oh, though. my. Really? Oh, I guess he doesn't want to tell it anyway. He says, leave yeah. my pr property and forget where it is. He's a cranky old man. All right, you so, yeah, we won't, what we did? We won't go through all the story here, guys. We did some stuff. They did some amazing things when they were young. So many adventures. Yeah, look at this big old adventure. These are a talkative bunch. They really are. But I guess when you got text based, uh, you know, you can you can do that. Uh, if you got to do the the voice acting, then you're more limited. Because every paragraph costs you like a thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should have hired me. It'd have been ten. <laughs> <laughs> I've it's actually not consistent though. <laughs> <laughs> whatever Jinx feels like at that moment. He said, damn, you're annoying. Fine, just shut up. You shut up, old man. I actually did a little voiceover work for a game, or a game series, actually. But I think they eventually, when they uh, redid like all the tutorials for later games, they went back and redid it for the the early games. You know, they got like real actors <laughs> instead of YouTubers. But for a little while there, I think one of the games I'm still in it, uh, the oldest one. But yeah, there's like two two of their games. I did the uh, voiceover work for the tutorial sections. And pretty much everything that taught the game. So that was interesting and fun and something different to do. I'm probably too shy and feel too silly about myself to ever do it. Jinx was super jelly when I was doing it though. Yeah, I was. She's like, I want somebody to pay me to do voiceover work. Cause that's, she's you. always wanted to do it. So I have to cut out those cars going by. I mean, you wouldn't know that it's like two o'clock in the morning right now. Very, very motherfuckers. It's ridiculous. I was talking about this in one of my Way 4 videos. How excited I am about our move uh, when it comes to the recording. This is all the same story here. Yeah. He's just telling stories. Something about that. Relax, big guy. I'm all ears. Relax. Just here. Rub your shoulders. Yeah, just rub your back a little bit. Looks kind of tense. No, no, no. <laughs> Get back, youngin. 
Who's who'd you bet? Whoa, betting? Whoa, hold up! Things whoa. are getting interesting here. Betting his wife. Whose wife? The king's. Oh snap! <laughs> so mm -hmm. the queen. I wow. just who betted? Oh, that was their plan. My uncle. They wanted to go bed the wife of the king. What well, worked? How did he get in? Oh, I'm not really all that interested. He he did it though. Yeah, it looks like he succeeded. He left his undies by the bed. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Something about a loyal servant. Seems like this was actually Just ran off with a pony. An exciting story here, guys. King didn't catch him. The Lord of the Orchards. That is incredible. Okay. He was amazing. <laughs> I think this is really into the story. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, I, I'm really uh, excited to, to move for, for the recording situation we'll be in. I mean, the house we're in right now, it's it's a corner house, and it's like on a busy neighborhood road, and so like just constantly cars going by. And then also, we've got all these military bases around Colorado Springs and an airport, and so you always got like planes and helicopters going overhead, just like constantly emergency vehicles going by. And so it's very difficult for us to record sometimes because of that. I mean, we could record like super early in the morning, two, three in the morning, people still, still cars going by, still helicopters. Army over there blowing stuff up. Hey, we got a bunch of reputation do, from that. Do, do, do. All right, so we have to deliver the knuckle sandwich. Are we gonna punch him? Yes. Okay. I plan to, but first snacks. <laughs> gotta have a snack on the way. A little bit of jerky. I need to stop somewhere and eat or drink too. I kind of want some jerky. It's been a little while since I had some. I love jerky. Yeah, it's a great source of protein as well. And, and oh, most. There's, oh, there's the, wolf. the wolf. Is that him howling? No. Looked like he was, yes. He's growling. He's not even noticing me though. Yeah, just stay away from him. Oh, I think. He, nope, he's good. He's just walking. Oh, oh shit! Sprint! Get out of there, Jinx! Get out of there! <laughs> Jinx is terrified. If you die, do you lose all the stuff on your, like in your backpack or whatever? Yeah. So you gotta go back and pick it all up. Yeah. I don't recall if you ever died in any of those videos. Probably. I don't Probably know. Probably a pig. Yeah, you might have died to a pig at some point. Goddamn pig. Maybe in one of the early videos. In those later videos, you were so like leveled up or. True. I had all the stuff. Yeah. Now I just have a stick. Yeah. A pointy stick that you aren't very good at using, honestly. You just kind of poke it. can't at. say you're wrong. <laughs> that poking animation yeah, is we can use ridiculous. the pickaxe over here for stone. Oh, okay. So it's just like these bigger stones. And you know, honestly, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Than that little tiny stone you smack it and burst into 20 rocks. Still, though, that would have been nice. Well, there's badgers, Ooh, badgers over here. Do the badgers give a fuck? I feel like you take hey, a badger. badger. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just don't know if this works very well. Can I? Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to collect the badger. <laughs> trying to pick him up. Just pick him up and bring him home. Come here, badger. I'm not chasing you anymore. You can slow down. What is that other thing over there? Is that a fox or a rabbit? I think it's a fox. All right, so we're... Oh, yeah, there's a fox. There's another fox. We're getting closer to the evening here. So hopefully you can get back to deliver our knuckle sandwich before the night. <laughs> and then we should get the next survivalist quest since we would have survived for the full season at that point. And then there will be more stories. Yay. Exciting. So you have to... Why does it feel like a pig after you? Sound like a pig, right? We yeah. have the TV kind of low. I think so the mic doesn't coughing. pick it up. Oh, snap trousers. Look at this. He just found a bunch beer. of beer sitting on the ground. So somebody nice. left their beer in their trousers. And I took them. Mm -hmm. They're probably over here skinny dipping somewhere. I was shocked to come back and not have any trousers. Put on them trousers. So is there like uh, armor ratings or something like that? Quality? Oh, look at these sexy ass calves. <laughs> I 
I need some shoes. I don't know. It look more fisherman like with your sandals. Got my flip flops. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ladies. Ladies I'm love the flip flops. All over them flip flops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is an armor. Like an armor setting or whatever? Yeah. It's almost like bridges don't exist for Jinx. They don't. I like swimming, okay? <laughs> Garrett doesn't even swim. He's like a zombie or something. He just sinks to the <laughs> bottom and then just walks on the bottom of the water. I guess that's the one way to do it. all the way the fuck over there. I feel like there's probably a bridge if you look to the left, too, though. No. There's one I right there. I used to live over there. It's like, like I can literally see it from here. I, you cannot. I can. There's a bridge, no. like, right over there. That's, like, miles away. You were over there. He could have crossed it. No, nope. no. Nope. Things like bridges are just bridges. Just are not. For they're pussies. not for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Until you get like a leech on your cock, and then you realize I don't want a leech anywhere near me. And then you realize why we have ridges. Yeah, that's true. I don't like leeches. I have like a phobia of worms, whatever that's called. Wormophobia. <laughs> I don't know what that's called, but phobias. Yeah. Yeah, Jinx doesn't like uh Slimies. Yeah. I love snakes, but they're not slimy. But like slugs and worms. I talked to Sambor. He's kind of a dick. <laughs> He's a real sweetheart, isn't he? Yeah. I'm just wondering when you're gonna give him the knuckle sandwich. Punch him in the For face. Real. Some more stories here, a guys. Knuckle sandwich. <laughs> oh Punch him He said oh sure I love people punching <laughs> me in the face <laughs> I'm around the village I'm known for it Damn it I wanted to punch him So we're not gonna punch him? No Okay that's disappointing I really do want to punch him though What happens if you just punch random villagers? Maybe you go to jail. I guess there's a crime system, isn't there? Like I some there's sort not of like crime a system. jail. Well, not a jail, but I mean, don't you get fined or something? Probably. How much? Jinx doesn't How even much know. Is it? She played the hell out of this game. She doesn't know. That tells you that she is a straight arrow. She doesn't steal. She doesn't punch random villagers. She doesn't sleep with their spouses. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's just a lot of a... I hate this guy. Really? Yeah. I, mean, I guess I don't know him well enough. He seems all right to me. Look at his eyes. He's shifty. <laughs> he wears mascara. Just because he puts a little black stuff around his eyes to look, you he's know... He's a pirate. ...more dramatic does not mean he's a bad guy, James. He's a pocket pirate. <laughs> that is true. He does a... He's a sneak thief. Can't be trusted. And I have to pay taxes to him yearly, which really pisses oh, me off. Oh, is this the guy who collects the taxes? Yeah, he's the tax collector. The taxes get kind of ridiculous in the they game, guy, because it's like a percentage of your, your money. It's like all your damn money. See, that's a... can get me to be a pretty nice chunk of money. Sometimes it feels like you're just working to pay taxes. So, very realistic. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, it feels like real life. Pisses me off. The best goods in the valley. So we got a store here, and he's got some good old beetroot. I don't know why you're not buying it. I don't need beets. It's 197 beetroot seeds. I'm so poor. <laughs> I have 50 <laughs> coins. Are we not going to do any planting? Yeah. Or I guess we can see what the next quest is once we uh, go to sleep. Um, yeah, I don't have time to plant these. Because yeah, spring Before is almost season. over. Yeah, I'd have to run back home and all that. But mm -hmm. See you soon. We'll plan out what we need for our garden. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll, well, a little bit of a graphical glitch there. Uh, so yeah, what we'll do is we'll head back home and sleep, get into the next season. Uh, even summer looks different than spring. They'll kind of have a, a little bit of a different look, which. I don't know why it is, but I've always get super excited about seasons and video games. Like, ridiculously excited. I wish every video game had seasons. It's gonna pass out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you like, completely... I'm not feeling very well. So if you completely deplete the stamina, do you really pass out? I mean, the screen gets pretty dark. Now I want to see you pass out. Okay, fine. 
I think you just stop. It's for scientific yeah, summer, testing purposes. It's pretty cool because like the river goes down and it kind of dries up a little bit. Oh, really? I didn't know it did all that. Yeah. Does the river freeze over in winter? It doesn't freeze over. I mean, we played a lot, of, a lot in winter, so I should know the answer to that. Oh, no. I forgot about the first winter. First winter is brutal because you don't have the clothes that you need. Oh, to is it just like warm. freezing? Mm hmm. You have to have a torch on you at all times. So you don't freeze it. It's still freaking freezing. But yeah, we did play quite a bit of winter, so I should know some of this. Seems like we were always recording those videos in wintertime. I was saying the berries were ripe in the fall, but I meant summer. Oh, okay. So, so yeah, summer. In the summer, we can harvest some berries and try to sell those and get some money. Mm hmm. Yeah, berry picker. Pick some mushrooms, which I should have been selling stuff. Make a mushroom stew. But I was doing missions and learning about my uncle and his crazy escapades with mm -hmm. royals. A life I'll never live. <laughs> Don't you get involved with, like, the royals a little bit? Yeah, you do. You have yeah. to, like, complete stuff for them. Yeah, there's all kinds of little quest lines of this game. Like make clothes and again, yeah, there's there's a lot of uh, a lot of depth and different mechanics to the games, guys, because they they've been working on this game forever, adding stuff to it. And so if you started with the early access, it was kind of a bare bones game originally, but yeah, they've just added like so much into it. I'm home. All right, Looking so for bandits. Just waiting for you. I'm gonna cudgel you as soon as you walk in the door. Yes. All right, so this will bring us into the next season, guys. And we'll complete that uh, quest. So now we're in Chapter 3. Good morning, my neighbor. I survived a season. So now you need to complete some quests for neighbors. And most importantly, you need to do some successful flirting, Jinx. Uh-huh. I need to get a lady. Mm-hmm. We don't have to get a lady yet. We're just prepping this for winter. Because we don't want to be alone in our cabin all winter. It's too damn cold. <laughs> It'd be cold. We need somebody to cuddle up with in the furs. You ain't got furs, though, do you? No, I don't. I'm so poor. Oh, that little island out there? Yeah. Oh, there's treasure out there. Yeah, I was about to say, there's got to be treasure on the island. I don't know if it's on this island, though, but we'll go look. If I was a bandity type, which I'm definitely not, obviously. I'm a, obviously. a law follower. All about that law and order, right? Yeah. But if I was a bandity type, I would hide all my goodies on the on the island. I hope there isn't like water snakes. <laughs> yeah, they, I mean they could have added stuff you don't know about, but I don't think so. Well, there's an eagle. Ker -ker! <laughs> I don't think that's a sound the eagles make, Jinx. Yes, it is. What Treasure. was that? Did that say so? What was that plant over there that you walked by? Mm, Saw see. something like right over here. Yeah, what does that say? It pops up just for a second. Oh, Ooh. something. Oh, broadleaf plantain. Oh, okay. You can get that for healing. See, I thought the second word was plantation. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Oh, so you make like uh, bandages or something for that? Yeah, and potions. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's treasure over here somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere, unless they moved it. Is that not it right there? Where? Right there. Oh, yep. There we go. We got a shovel, an iron shovel. Is that the treasure stones? Or is it buried no. underneath? Coins. What? We got 150 coins, Jinx. Noise. Wow. I'm that rich. was three times the money that we had. Because math. That's exciting. Worried bandits are watching. You just stole somebody's. They're somebody's gonna money. gonna be upset. Mm-hmm. I can't carry all these stones. I thought I was strong. I was wrong. <laughs> drop all this clay, too. Why are you dropping all this stuff here, though? Because I'm weak. Yeah, but if you put it at your house... I can't. You can use it later. That's too slow. Will that stick around there? The stones and the clay, or those like disappear? Uh, they might disappear, but usually the stuff you drop sticks around because that's kind of how you decorate. Yeah. So we gotta remember we got clay sitting over there. Ooh. Oh, this is what it looks like out of the water. <laughs> yeah. Look at all those water physics, ripples, and 
Little waves. But yeah, now we can buy some seeds. Do some planting. Well, it looks like we also need to get a scythe from Ida. Or Ida. How are you yeah. gonna pronounce that? I think we need to head to town. Since all these quests are pushing us towards neighbors and flirting and People. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Ew. Socializing. Yuck. <laughs> I don't like it. I just want to live in my little hut. Well, if we go to town, be left alone. not only can we talk to some people, but we can also get some seeds, Jinx. Oh, you got another rabbit. That's true, they're seeds. So yeah, There's we'll go to people. town. Yeah, <laughs> so we'll go to town. Buy some seeds, plant some seeds, and then head back home and plant more seeds. And that'll be good to go. Right. It's well, a lot of running around. Yeah, and, and when you don't have the horses, all kind of much slower. But you know, my legs are getting real strong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look good in these pantaloons. <laughs> yeah, this this cast are decent. You got a little bit of definition there. Or maybe that's just dirt and grime, I don't know. It's probably dirt and grime. But we're gonna pass it off as definition. Yeah. Like she don't need to know. She probably can't see very good. She got glaucoma. <laughs> what? We're going for an older lady. <laughs> going for an older woman, She's huh? She's got skills in the kitchen. I thought we were attempting to have children and stuff. Start our dynasty up. I want children. They just want to go hunting with you and talk to you and give you feathers. <laughs> <laughs> but if we could have the kid early on, then it's more likely we can see That's true. the child grow up. That child ain't ever growing up. <laughs> Probably not, because I don't know how long we'll play the series based on views and and how things are going, how much you guys are enjoying it. So let us know down in the comments if, if you're liking the series. So I don't know how far we'll go, but uh, if we want to make a large amount of progress, Jinx would have to be playing off camera some, I think. Well, you know I'm going the distance. Oh yeah, Jinx will play this forever. Like, I'm working, Praetorian. I need you <laughs> to just, you know, leave me alone for a few minutes. A few minutes, a few hours. A few days. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you see all these fields that need, you know, plowing and stuff? How can I help you? Are you planning on plowing her fields? Yeah. Because you said that right when you were looking at her. Like, hey. I mean, no, she flirted with you and all, but. Niga. I really feel like. Have a good day. You shouldn't be going oh, she's after. So rude. The guy, you know, the guy whose taxes, he, he got to pay his taxes. Um, I feel you like go after his she's wife? the perfect woman to go after. You think maybe she'll get you like a tax cut? Yeah. Oh, a newcomer. Pleasure to meet you. So what kind of quest are we looking at getting from these people? Can I help you with something? He wants me to... He just wants an axe. An axe. That's an easy quest. I think we can do that for you. So I think it should be pretty easy to get these quests Here's done if they're the all you wanted. if they're all like this. I am concerned about the flirting though. I don't yeah. know how well Jinx is gonna do with that. Oh, I'm gonna be terrible at it. It'll at least be fun to watch. I got a workshop. We got a workshop. So is that where you like craft more advanced recipes or something? Okay. Are you really sneaking up on her like that? A lady. <laughs> this is how Jinx blues people. She did it to me as well, guys. She crept up on me, right behind me, and then Hello. she threw a bag over my head. It was like one of those Walmart plastic bags as well. I'm just gonna like have a seat here, <laughs> kick up these calves. <laughs> How you doing, lady? <laughs> How you feel about my hat? You got nice. Look, at she's like looking other ways. Is he talking nice to me? Nice child bearing hips. <laughs> I see. She's like, please, somebody come. She's looking for a friend. <laughs> Like, Jesus, can somebody come save me? He's stuck in this chair here. Stand up is R3. It looks like I gotta hold it. Oh, that's why. That's all good, you know? How are you? I'm great. So this is the one Jinx went for, 22-year-old. You are of an acceptable age to mate with. <laughs> Have you heard anything interesting? She's got rosy cheeks. Somebody's got a quest for me. Right. That's nice. And do a little small talk first. Talk about the weather. How's your day going? Yeah? 
<laughs> and yeah, I you hate can, when the weather messes with my work. And a cold makes her sneeze. She's got allergies. All right. So the the skills is what we need to ask about. She's she fancy, a She fancies simple hard work since it gets my blood flowing and my muscles pumping. I can't even work with my bare hands if needed. Oh. I mean, it feels like she's flirting with you. She's the one. Yeah. Does anything give you a hard time? <laughs> you see, I emphasize that hard. Traversing the forest like and riverbanks. Yep. How about some romance? <laughs> you seem very interesting. Can I ask you something? And then this, you kind of have to go off of what you know about her. Uh huh. So like after you've talked to her for a while, you see like yeah what she might like. Um, these seem okay. Like don't seem very specific, but uh huh. She's so her affection good. changed by plus five. She likes okay. you more. I guess you must have been at zero though, because your affection's at five. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she, had, she had no interest in me. Your calves didn't work, Jinx. Neither did your hat or your pantaloons. But the pantaloons. <laughs> Do you have any? What? Uh huh. No brothers or sisters. All right. She likes me more. All right, so we're up to ten percent. I'm not gonna tell her I'm afraid of things. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell her how much I love chickens either. Jinx does love chickens, though. All right. She likes weather. Okay. So we're slowly moving this meter up here. Okay. All right. Well. So was there any successful flirting there? Did uh, that count? Yeah. She is fond of me. Mildly. She knows I exist. <laughs> <laughs> I just wondered, did we complete the quest? I think I can invite her to live with me. <laughs> <laughs> Not easy, huh? Yeah. Uh, I have a spare space in my bed that you can sleep in <laughs> if you want to. Just what? talk to just talk to somebody for a little while. Sounds <laughs> like what I was looking for. What pleasure. That was super Great. easy. Barely an inconvenience. <laughs> Jesus, look at that. I, Let's break a stick. I'm the man, I'm the man. <laughs> you know, I, I doubted you, Jinx. And after hearing your pickup lines, I I still doubted you. But but now <laughs> I'm impressed. Oh, damn it. You picked She's up a lady. She's got needs. You, you still need to <laughs> complete a quest for a neighbor, Jinx. No, I need to go home and feed this I think woman. you should finish the quest before. You're going to make us walk back over here? Uh, yes. Let's knock this She's quest She's going to get pissed off and leave. It is going to take her all day walking that and slow. And she's going to be thinking about how pissed off she is and how she can't <laughs> wait to leave. She's going to be thinking about how hungry she is, and then, yeah, you'll have no snacks. I'm going to use the bridge. Oh, you can't complete any quests for the people over there? What? No. Why not? It's like right there. Let's do one of these neighbor's quests. I have a woman that needs feeding. <laughs> I'm just saying efficiency. We don't want to run back over here. We don't have to. You also didn't get your seed yet either, Jason. Yes, I've got it. Whoa. Settle down, fella. So, so do you know what you're planning on planting here? Don't no. don't plant beetroot. Beet what are, I, beets are gross. Whatever I can plant in summer, probably cabbages. It's always cabbages it's with Jinx. It's always cabbages. So yeah, what we'll probably do here before we end the episode, obviously get our cabbage seeds, of course. And then, uh, wow, oh, holy crap, that too. was expensive. No, I forgot I need poop. So they make you use fertilizer, like in, say, Ark, well, unlike Ark, you can't make your own fertilizer. <laughs> That's a shame. Well, I mean, you can if you got animals, but I'm poor. No, I meant like uh, your own fertilizer. Oh, uh, okay, well. That's like all your money. You got five gold left or something like that. I'm so heavy. Goodbye. That'll take you forever to get back home. Yeah. So which, which one of these neighbors are we going to do a quick I'm, quest I'm for? I'm doing, it's, they're not all quick, like. Oh, we're looking for a quick quest. Like somebody who needs a hammer or something. There. Hello, traveler. Can I help you with something? Oh, she just needs a strong man. That's you. She wants food. I don't have food. You got jerky. No, she wants a specific food. What food? 
Maybe she wants your rabbit meat. She won't tell me what she needs until I accept the quest. If I accept a quest and don't complete it, then I lose dynasty points. Oh. Do I, I look like a butcher? Fuck you, lady. It seems like she lost dynasty points for that response as well. Well, I'd lose more <laughs> if I was not a man of my word. That's true. I just thought you could have been more polite about it. Well, yeah. I, guess. I mean, this guy's got cows. He might have a good quest for you. That's not a... He doesn't have a quest. He just has cows. <laughs> oh, they got quest markers. Oh, okay. I see. I think this guy just needs me to chop some trees. That seems easy. Oh, he's my best friend. Oh, do you know this guy? Yeah. So from your former play through, this was your best friend? Yeah. He Cause doesn't want to be a farmer anymore. Because you both wear like the exact same clothes. Yeah, we're twinsies. Mm -hmm. He's like, of course. I'm sorry. All right, so he wants some aid. And it's in the form of... He wants me to go talk to a lady. Okay. Well, I mean, you are smooth with the ladies, Jinx. I'm pretty great at it. Yeah. All right, so let's go talk to this lady here. All right, so it looks like it's in this same village here. And I do have sticks. And you're not... You're not wooing a lady. Just delivering sticks. To a kid. I see. Have you ever thought of being a knight? All right, so we'll just give him these sticks. He'll just click right through it. Yeah, because we don't care what this kid has to <laughs> <No>. say. <laughs> and do we have to go back to him? Yeah, okay. of course. I have to tell him that I completed the thing. And uh, get our payment, right? You think he'd pay us for this? No. I don't know why he couldn't walk over there just and give those. Just with gratitude. He couldn't give those sticks to him. It was like not that far away. All mm. right. Yeah. So that did not complete nope, the quest. Nope, because I have to wait till next summer. <laughs> yeah, that's like a year away. Good God. All right, so as you see, not all of the neighbor quests are as quick to complete. I think because Alwyn has a story. Is that why he's your friend? Yeah. You're following his story, whatever. Mm-hmm. I see. I can go to the neighboring town to find a neighbor quest, but... Okay. I don't know if it'll be quick. Yeah, we won't do that in this one. Maybe we'll do that off camera or something. I don't know. Uh, we'll go ahead and start heading back to the town. Unfortunately, this episode is over. I actually went a it little went bit... Fast. Yeah, it went a little bit over what we intended to. Uh, because, yeah, it did go by quite quickly. Time flies when you're wooing ladies. Yeah. We didn't get as much done. Uh, you know what Einstein said about sitting on a bench with pretty ladies, though? Prince uh, Charming didn't have a good time with time either. So, yeah, unfortunately, we do have to end it here. Really didn't get work on our village much. Which is kind of a shame. What are you talking about? We're we doing neighborly quests. But we didn't even see her in the village. I guess that is a nice addition to the village. Of course, she's going to be shocked. No, or maybe she won't leave, be. She's going to leave because there's no fucking food there for her. Well, I was going to say she's going to be shocked when she realizes there's only the one house. But, uh... Yeah. Maybe she was planning like, for that. She knew what was going on. on sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I always sleep on the floor because I'm a gentleman. And yeah. I just like to sleep on the floor. Can you even have a bed? Or is it they just always that mat on the they floor? They just always sleep on the floor. Even when you have like the, the big stone houses and stuff? I think if I'm standing on top of the bed and then I go to sleep, he might wake up in uh -huh. the bed. But I think he always sleeps on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's one of those people that just needs it to be like in a really uncomfortable place in order to sleep properly. Yeah, and you know, he's a drinker too, so there's he just that. passes out. Yeah, one beer does it for him. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Hopefully in the next video, we'll get some farming done, maybe. Yeah, I'm actually a little surprised that falling through the, the quest line, we still hadn't done any farming yet here on episode two. So for episode three, I would like to, to plant some crops since it's a, a big part of the game. And of course, it's one of the main ways to make a bit of money as well. Uh, so yeah, she's definitely reached the village before you did. Or she just never went. It looks like she's already made herself cozy in your home. Yeah. She's probably sweeping. If you walk in and she's naked right now. She's not. I've never seen any of the characters naked. They're all never nudes. Never nude. Honey, I'm all... Oh, oh where'd she go? <laughs> told you. <laughs> hey, 
lady. There she oh, is. There she is. Sitting there angry. She's like, oh my god. <laughs> Why did I agree to go to this man's village? Yeah, let me put some food in the chest so you don't starve to death. Okay, so they can pull food out of any yeah. chest or whatever? That's how you can, like, feed your individual people. Okay. Uh, once you get, like, a food storage and all that, you can just throw it all in there, and then they'll, like, cook from it. Mm -hmm. and I thought you were about to put coins in there. I was like, don't put your coins in there. <laughs> Those aren't going to be gone I mean, soon. the meat is kind of rotten, but it's still good. Does it go bad? Yeah, it's, like, 50% bad. <laughs> <laughs> that means it's 50% good. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> so I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure you have a like on it, subscribe to our channel, Hit that notification bell and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next one. And thanks for watching.